I love Dublin. Any, any excuse to come to Dublin, I, I will be here. And I've had many excuses during Flora and Sun. <laughs> In fact, I might lose my Scottish accent, but there you go. Really early on, John and I sat down, walked through the script. We were on Zoom, actually. I was in Scotland, he was here. And we kind of just tried to find the cornerstone songs, the very important songs. Um, so obviously the one that Joe and Eve write together and sing on the rooftops, very important. The last song in the pubs, very important. And then, of course, Oren's songs, um, or Max in the film, um, are very important. So we, we just... We, we, we thought about what they wanted to say and what those characters sounded like, really. And then, we, then it was hard work <laughs> trying to do it, trying to create it. The cast had a massive effect on the music, actually. And then when we, um, when we started to talk to Eve and Joe, we realized that they could actually contribute quite a lot because they knew their characters so well. So we actually took them into the recording studio and worked with them on lyrics for their own songs which was kind of risky, but actually paid off. We managed to get everything recorded in a day. And they, were, they, and they felt more connected to the songs, you know. We've played it to a few people now, and you never know when you're making a film what, how people are going to be affected by it. But actually, people have really connected to this film in a sort of... Particularly mothers, interestingly enough. A lot of people have come up to me and told me they're family stories after that. So it seems to connect people on a really familial kind of level, which is beautiful, you know. That's all John. I just write the music. <laughs>